everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo. Today's video is another design with me, but I have a little bit of an inspiration, and I'm going to show you that in just a few seconds. So there has been many times that I've just bought a, a little outfit or I had somebody come up to me and say, I just bought this outfit and I need a piece of jewelry to go with it. Could you make me one? Well, here I have this top. I bought it last year. And I really never had a piece that went too well with it. It was okay, but I, I was never really happy with any one thing. So I decided that I would create one today along with you. Now, one of the things we have to take into consideration is the neckline. Um, this neck is comes down a little uh, far for me. So I have a little black um, shirt that I wear underneath it. So there'll be a little pop of black under here. We have mustard color and a black plaid. So let's dig around in my beads and see what we have that will go with this. So here's our shirt. It's kind of uh, mustard and black. I would like to have a little pop of color besides the mustard in this. I came across this pendant right here. It has two loops on either side. And then it has little holes at the bottom here. We have one, two, three, four, five little holes. So I'm going to want to dangle something off of these. Uh, this necklace is going to probably be a 17-inch necklace. Maybe even a 16-inch necklace. I might be able to do a 16-inch necklace. I'll have to put this back on and see exactly how high the neckline comes on me. But it, it is going to be a shorter necklace. I want this actually on my skin, even the dangle parts. So let's see what we have here. When I first looked at this, I thought, oh, it's kind of yellow. And so I took these out. And you know what? I don't, I don't think it's going to work, unfortunately. So I'm going to set these aside. They may work, but I really doubt it. So we won't use those. These crystals... Uh, I don't know. They look like they're more on the orangey side. Let me see what other crystals I have. I have these gray crystals, but we don't have color in that. And then I have these peachy pink. Nope, those aren't going to go. That's a definite no. So, let's see. Now, these might go. These are a uh, fossil coral. And I think those will look good. So that's that'll be a almost definite. You know, if you have watched any of my design videos, you've noticed that until the very end, and I have it all finished and ready to wear, nothing is a definite. <laughs> all right, now here's some frosted red agate. Ah, I don't know, those might go. I could put maybe those together. And there, here's this um, sesame seed jasper. I think, I don't know. Don't, I didn't like that. And I have some agate here. It's more of a natural agate. And that actually doesn't look too bad. We're not getting any color in here. Now, I have this Botswana agate that I absolutely love. I love Botswana agate. I think it's a very fun agate. I wanted to show you this Botswana agate that I wrapped several years ago. Isn't that a fun stone? Anyway, I just wanted to show you what a big piece looked like. So I have some of that here. And I think I'm going to use it in this piece. So we have some Botswana agate, regular agate. Now, oh, and I have these. I wonder if this would go. Again, we're not really getting a whole lot of color in here. And that's very similar to this. This is actually Amazonite. It's frosted. This here is just uh, natural agate. I don't think it's... It's just a gray color. We could use copper or we could use silver or 
I think I'm going to use both. I've mentioned before I like to mix my metals. Um, that being said, I have these little silver uh, rhinestone pieces here that I might use. And then I have these really pretty beads. I might use those. I need to probably get me some bead caps. Um, so I'll dig around for that. And I pulled this out. I don't know. It's, it's a um, fancy jasper. And it does have a little bit more color, but I don't know about that. I'm going to set those aside. And here's some more jasper that's a little on the brown side. Again, I don't know. And then I've got this, some, these crystals. Oh, these crystals might work. I don't have a whole lot of them. Well, those are really pretty. We'll see. Those might be able to hang on down here some. And I do have these that I might use. They're a crystal and they're they're elongated here. So anyway, we don't have much color here. I wonder what a pop of this would look like. Hmm. I may throw that in the mix. Anyway, I've got my beads gathered up. So let me go get my bead board and get my beads all laid out and then let's create. So I have everything laid out here and I've decided I am not going to use the Botswana agate. I decided away from that. And as I laid these beads out, there is a little hint of color. Uh, we have the Amazonite here. Let me lay these down. I'll talk about these in a minute. But when you look at this Amazonite, we have um, sort of a light blue there. We have uh, grays, light gray, dark gray. And then we even have some of the, um, oh, close to <laughs> the fossil agate here. Uh, kind of the, I don't know what you call that, golden brownish mustardy color. And so I think these are all going to really work well together. Uh, I've got the red agate. The red agate and the Amazonite are both frosted. And then here's all the crystals. And I think these crystals will work because it goes back to the Amazonite. So everything is falling together pretty well here. So I was looking to see what I could use to dangle down here and I was just kind of playing around. And I don't have a whole lot of these uh, blue crystals and I wanted to put them in this part of the necklace so I could really only use two. So I'm gonna put the clear one in the middle and then the blue and then in with the clear because those are only five hanger hang things here and then we'll have a blue I'll have to string these up and then the clear here so I'm gonna go ahead and get this taken care of and then I'll return and we can beat up the rest so I took some head pens and I strung up these crystals and copper and silver tone beads and I, I used um, some of those little fancy silver beads and I came up with this piece. Now um, I, I want to put, I want to tie this into the rest of the necklace. So I think what I'm going to do is I have these leftover uh, leftovers from some head pins and I'm just going to make loops on each side. I, I hope I can do this. I may have to get a bigger head pen or a piece of wire actually now that I think about it because what I want to do is I want to wire these here. So let me go get some wire. One thing about crystals you have to be careful that I may not be able to find wire 
is going to be big enough for what I want to do actually. Let me go get my wire and I'll show you what I mean. So I just grabbed this copper wire. It's 20 gauge. I'm not for sure if I want to go smaller to 22, which is really what I'm going to need. They kind of fit on here, but that's I can't get it to go all the way without probably cracking the crystal, and that won't even fit in there. So uh, if I want to do something like this, I'm probably going to have to get, not do the wire. <laughs> so forget the wire. All right. Let me go ahead and lay these out. I have, I only have two of these left. And if you look at it, there's a fat side and a skinny side. And I think I want to put the skinny side toward the pendant here. Maybe. Let's see. We'll have to do let me let's do one one way and one the other and see how we like it. I actually wish I'd had two of this shape. See what I'm kind of doing here? I wanted to replicate this a little bit. And then you could put the copper beads in between. Like so. And then over here. It's, it's kind of funny because at first I thought I was going to like this better, but I think I like this better. <laughs> yes, I definitely like it with the skinnier pointing toward the center. And I think what I'm going to do is add some silver tone beads in between here. Since I have silver tone beads, on the, the uh, focal there. So let's start working with this Amazonite. Um, try to pick out mostly the blues. And a little bit of the um, kind of rust color. Maybe do another blue. Maybe a gray. Now when you're working with something like this, you actually always need to start from the center and work out. And these should be mirror images of one another. Okay, and I'm liking how this is turning out, but I think we need a little bit of bling in between here. Uh, so it's like, do I think I want to use the gray. Um, Let me cut these crystals here and start putting them in between here. Now, I don't have much further to go. Remember, we're making this a shorter necklace, and the clasp is probably going to be about an inch. We're at about, let's see where we are here. We're about 14 inches here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this sit for a day. Sometimes I do that when I'm really not 100% sure on this. And then I'm going to readdress it tomorrow. I've got it all finished. I really like the way it turned out. I like that it matches, but it's not like an exact match. I don't necessarily like things to be an exact match. I think it's just too much repetitive. And when you wear things that have 
you know, that go with or complement each other, I think it adds to your look rather than taking away because everything is too much of an exact match. And I love how those crystals sparkle. And it's got some really good movement to it. So a little recap here. I had this um, feather pendant that had five little holes at the bottom. And so I just took some um, long, elongated crystals that I had, paired them up with copper tone and silver tone beads, and strung them up and put them on there. And then I wanted to put these along this portion too. Um, you don't, you want your jewelry to make sense. Um, I do have some pieces that I've made that just kind of have random things, but the whole thing's random. So I, I didn't want to have this, and then none of these were in here, and that would have just been, you know, way too random. So here's what I did on each side. You could see right here and right here we have these beads, and throughout we have the copper. Uh, we have some um, coral fossil here, there, and, and up here. And then these right here are, see this one, and I've got three of them. I kind of have a blue tint, more of a mustard tint, and then a gray tint. These are all Amazonite. They're frosted. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but I've got several crystals. I've got crystals and more crystals. I have bigger champagne crystals flanked with the gray crystals. And I've used um, the silver tone and the copper beads throughout. And then for the clasp, I have a silver tone toggle clasp. There you go. I'm very pleased with this. I did not make any earrings yet. <laughs> I'm going to go do that now. Fortunately, I had some earrings already that look good with this. And um, one more look here. I want to thank y'all for spending time with me while I design. I really enjoy the comments that y'all leave on these videos. I hope you come back and see what I'm doing. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and if you want notifications, ding that bell. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.